Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Daniel here. And today I want to talk about Adidas products. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that this is almost all I talk about. And I'm always looking for ways to help you make money online and to help you create financial freedom by selling your knowledge that you already have in the form of Adidas products. And today I'm going to talk about a tool that lets you do that pretty easily. I've talked about so many tools on this channel and I want to talk about one that I think is pretty good for creators and entrepreneurs. If you are a creator, an entrepreneur, you create content online or you intend to, but you already sell data products right now, I think this tool is perfect for you. Not only does it have a seamless interface, but I'm just gonna walk you through everything, how you will set up your product. And that tool is called MainStack. Now, MainStack is the online tool that allows you to sell data products and services seamlessly without the need to be able to code or to have any technical background whatsoever. So if you're an ultra online entrepreneur, all you have to do is set up your account in MintStack, set up your products, and you will be good to go. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know in order to start using MainStack, set up your products, and start receiving payments and your payout seamlessly. So what you're looking at is the website. It's called Modern software and embedded payments for entrepreneurs and this is uh, a tool that allows you to use their storefront which is mainly how you sell your data product their invoicing tool which i believe is coming out pretty soon and the booking tool if you are a freelancer you can have your bookings you can have your invoicing i think this is pretty good and also it's got a link in bio feature that allows you to showcase your uh, links to your online you know digital footprints wherever you have them uh, in one place and you can as well uh, showcase your data products on your link in there as well all of this I'm gonna be going through in this video the first thing you need to do is to go to mainstack.co type in that in your browser it's gonna bring you here and as you can see right here this is what a website looks like very beautiful and all you have to do is to get started for free it's gonna prompt you to sign up but I've already signed up so I'm going to log into my account so you can see what it looks like on the back end Boom, once I do that, it takes me to my dashboard. So right now there's two apps that I have access to, which is the link in bio and my storefront. So link in bio, as the name implies, allows you to be able to showcase your links, all your data footprints in a link in bio. And as well, the storefront allows you to be able to sell your data products, uh, a seamless checkout process, and you can sell more online in more than 125 countries across the world. So it doesn't matter where your uh, clients are, where your you know your audiences you'll be able to sell to them in almost all of the currencies that exist right now which is pretty good so it doesn't matter whether you're in africa you're selling to the united states or you're in the united states you're selling to china south africa whatever that is you'll be able to receive payments in your local currency so let's talk about the storefront feature of main stack so now that i've signed up this is where you go to the storefront now this is what it looks like as you can see i already set up a product but i'm going to set up another one just so you can see how it looks like but let's have a look at you know what the navigation looks like what you get once you sign up you know, for main stack the main navigation here you go to home you have you know analytics which allows you to be able to see in one dashboard uh, where your customers are coming from your click-through rate page views link clicks email subscribers phone numbers list downloadable resources meaning how many um, downloadable resources have you had in the last um, one month um, phone numbers list how many people have bought something from you have given their phone numbers how many email subscribers you have and if you have the pro version of your link in bio for example you'll be able to see where your clicks are coming from into very specific detail and of course you'll be able to see your top locations as well but you know i mean as long as you don't need you know that right now if you're just getting started you really don't need that all you need right now is you know all the basic features that it offers now when you go to the storefront analytics you'll be able to see your gross sales your net sales your storefront visits your successful sales abandoned sales email subscribers and your average order value now you'll be able to see 
by top products by units sold your top locations by order you don't need to have any pro version to be able to see that for your storefront now if you want to go to the revenue tab this is where you see the amount of money that you've made now you go to the crm tab this is where you see all your contacts you have a crm within the software itself that allows you to manage your contacts and you'll be able to import and export as you wish discounts you'll be able to create a discount for your product and automation allows you to simply create email automations in order to be able to follow up with people when they buy products when they abandon their account uh, when they abandon their cart and so on and so forth now let's go back to uh the home where i'll be able to set up where you'll be able to set up your products yeah, I mean, your data products on main stack <clears throat> now as you can see right here all you have to do is click on add product now when you click on that product you'll be able to add about seven different types of data products one is data product the second one is the master class you have your training your workshop your webinar your event tickets and other other means that you can mix and match all different features of these other uh, data product types but let's say i want to sell my data product let's say i want to sell an ebook for example or a downloadable resource i will select that go to next and in this case i'm going to select uh my uh how to guide on how to start a youtube channel this is the product i want to sell how to start a youtube channel right now you write a product description and the good thing about the product description tool uh, from Mainstack is that you can generate a product description using ai now if i click on that look at what's going to happen it's going to populate the description page with a description now i can go back and go and edit that description as i see fit but as you can see it's already given me a good place to start i love the secrets to building a successful youtube channel with a comprehensive guide how to start a youtube channel this data product is perfect for aspiring content creators looking to make their mark in the data world from setting up your channel to creating and gaming content and so on and so forth now i'm going to go ahead and format this uh content right now so this is this is this is really good and the good thing about description as well is that it's a rich text format meaning you can bold stuff you can italize stuff you can add underlines you can do whatever you want with it now i'm going to bold this and i'm going to underline that so right now as you can see i can uh use it as an add-in for example or i can uh make it italy i can italize it i can add image i can add video i can add a link i can do whatever i want within you know this description area all written you know f f for me by ai now when i click on next it's going to go to the image section now this is where i'll be able to upload my image into uh into main stack so this is the image that is going to represent my product itself so let me go ahead and just select uh, an image for example let's see all right, let me just pick one image from my computer just for the sake of uh, demonstration. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. So I can I can just easily uh, crop that image so that it fits well when people load the page. I'm gonna apply, so this is what it's gonna look like. You can add more images if you wish. Let me see if I can find one more. And I'm gonna crop that one like so. And I click apply. Now I have two images for my data products. I'm gonna click on next. Now this is where you set the pricing of your data products. Now there are five different types of pricing. This is why I love this tool so much. There is one, the free pricing. If you wanna make it free, where people don't have to pay anything, you can do it like that. There's a one-time payment, meaning you can set a one-time price. People pay one time and that's it. There's a pay what you want feature, meaning people can pay as little as $1 for your product and they can pay as much as they want. Now, there's fast action pricing, meaning you can increase the urgency of, I mean, as people sign up for your product over a period of time. Now, if you pick your fast action pricing, you can say that for the first seven days, people are able to pay this much. And after that, the price increases by a certain percentage. Now, paying tranches mean, you know, paying installments, meaning you can, you know, set installments for your product um, and people can pay up to uh, four. I think the update is coming for 12 tranches, but they can pay an installment. Uh, you can set the first payment second payment third payment and so on and so forth but right now i'm going to do a one-time payment for my product and i'm going to set the product at 19 dollars <throat> 
Now, as you can see, there's a toggle button here, meaning I can include a discounted price. So the actual price is what it what is $19 right now. But if I toggle that button, I'll be able to include a discounted price and I can put that at $14, meaning people are getting a $5 discount on this product. So now I'm gonna click on next. There's a bunch of um, additional details that I can set here. One, I can toggle a button to say this is a pre-order product, meaning the product is not live yet. It's going to be live at its date in the future. So meaning anyone who purchased now, it's gonna be uh, a pre-ordered product. Now I can choose to hide the product from the store, meaning if you go to my storefront, you won't be able to see the product, but I can send people links to that specific product uh, privately. Now redirect on success. What does that mean? It means that after people purchase your product, what happens then? You can redirect to uh, your website, you can redirect to a different page, you can redirect to uh, pretty much anywhere that you want as long as it's a link. You can redirect to a calendar, meaning people purchase um, a, a, you know, a consultation with you, then you redirect them to your calendar. That's where I think this is most useful. Now, hide number of successful sales, meaning if you want to hide the number of times your product has been sold, you can do that. But I would always recommend that you leave that because it's social proof and we all know that social proof is a good thing. Now, uh, if it's a pre-order product, which one are we toggling on here? I don't think there's anyone. So another good thing is your button text, meaning the call to action button, you can always customize that. Now I'm gonna say start growing now so this is our how to start a youtube channel book and now the call to action is saying start growing now or i can say start creating now as i mean whatever you want as long as it's under 20 characters now click on next now what do you have to do you can upload your your document so this is where you upload your pdf a product up to 25 megabits in size uh you can upload a video if it's if it's less than 25 megabits you can upload that you can upload a pdf as long as it's under 25 megabytes so let's see if we can upload something that is okay so let's upload that it's 15 megabytes okay now let's click on next so now I can review and publish my digital product. Uh, review and publish, you can see the images, boom, boom, really good. How to start a YouTube channel, that is the title of the product. It's you know $14 discounted price, the actual price is $19. And this right here is the description, and this is the product itself, meaning it's a digital product. This is an MP4 video, and what do I have to do next? I can either save as draft, meaning I can come back to it, if I'm not ready to publish yet, or I can simply publish the product. Now, the product is live. I'll just tell you the channel is live. Congratulations, your product is now live and looking good. You can share it on social media with your potential customers. You can share here, you can share the link, meaning I can copy the link, share on Telegram, Facebook, whatever. Now, if I put in the link right here, it's gonna load the page, and this is what it looks like as a live product on main stack as you can see right here it also tells people that you have other products on your store right now it says out to 10 data prototype due to kickstart your online success also available on my store meaning people can see what other things you have on your store so this is what it looks like and now when people uh, want to buy this product or they just want to share a product link so when i come to my product store this is what it looks like as you can see daniel blah 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 this is my profile i can switch my currency depending on where i am so right now i'm in the united states right i can switch currency to say india rwanda south africa so depending on where someone is is visiting from they'll be able to switch the currency and see in local currency what the prices are so right now if someone buys this product in south africa this outside youtube channel product is going to cost them 279.86 South African Rand. So when they pay, 
they will be able to pay in their local currency. So it doesn't matter whether this person is in uh, Kazakhstan, as long as they you know they have access to this product, they'll be able to switch currency and be able to see the local currency and be able to pay in that local currency. And guess what? You as the merchant will receive your payment in US dollars. This is this is massive. This is this is great. So whether or not, uh, I mean, doesn't matter uh, what the current exchange rate is. I don't know how Minstack does it, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, they're great products. Um, so you'll be able to receive your digital product in USD. So that is one of the beauty of this platform. And right now, as you can see, my product data product is live. And if I go back to, if I go back here, and I you know, want to uh, create, say I want to create a link in bio, I can also do that. Now, the link in bio allows me to be able to import my already created product from my storefront easily into my link in bio page. So right now, if I go here, if I create a button right here, add a block and it's a button. Now this button I can customize, I can add a link to it, but I can also import my uh, my store product. So right now I have two products in my store and I can easily select the product and boom, I can show that in my link in bio. This is powerful. So if you have link in bio, if you have storefront, you can use both products cross-functionally, import your storefront products into your list, in, into your link in bio and you know sell your products already on your store. Uh, independently without a link about however you want to do it so this is what i believe is one of the easiest tools to use for data product i mean for data creators if you are a data product creator and you want to uh, start selling your data products easily without any house whatsoever it's free to start there's you know it's certain you know uh, transaction fee the main stock charges you can read all about that on the website. I think it's about uh, 9% flat fee and 6% if you uh, pay uh, the flat monthly fee, which if you're not doing my, you know, huge transaction volumes, I don't think it will be useful for you. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, consider subscribing to this channel and let me know in the comments down below if you find this product useful, if you have any questions about it. Again, my name is Daniel and I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye.